In this video, we will show you the menu options available in D365, so you can easily navigate the system and find the tools you'll use most. The first place to start in the SendPaws menu is SendPaws Parameters. You can configure your payment journals and choose whether to enable auto-posting. When auto-posting is turned off, it will still automatically create a journal entry, but someone has to manually post it. This is a good option when you're first getting started until you're comfortable with auto-posting. When you go to expiration days, you can tell the system how many days before you consider the authorization expired. Most merchants will set this to 6, so at the start of the 7th day, the authorization will expire. This way you know when to properly renew so there isn't a gap in the availability of those funds with that customer. By default, D365 will automatically renew the authorization code for expired transactions for any SendPaws payment. Next, let's look at Terms of Payment. This is where you can show cashiering. This connects you to the SendPaws pop-up menu functionality. When this is enabled on Payment Term and Payment Types, this is where you can configure what accounting ledgers different payment types go through. In Payment Types, you can assign your accounting ledgers in D365 based on the payment type processed through SendPaws. You can pick and choose from all the payment types that SendPaws supports. These are the primary menu options you will use in SendPaws to navigate smoothly through the system.